Hello everyone. We are in the chapter, Future Tense. As I've told you in the previous lesson, there are three options, to express the future tense. 1. Using will, plus verb. 2. Using verb to be, am, is, or are, plus verb, plus ing. 3. Using present progressive tense, to express near future. In this lesson, we will learn the first option, future, will. I'll teach you positive sentences, negative sentences, yes no questions, that is questions whose answers are yes or no, wh questions, which are, what, when, where, etc., and questions about the subject, who, or what. We will learn all the above, in parallel, and the studies will be mostly through using examples. Let's start. Positive sentences. The sentence starts with the subject, followed by will. Then comes a verb, followed by the rest of the sentence. Danny will go to school next week. The subject is Danny. Will, is the expression which indicates future. The verb go, stays as it is, in its basic form. It does not matter what the subject is, we always use the expression will, and the verb is always in its basic form. The rest of the sentence is, to school next week. Examples Dina, send, me a letter tomorrow. This is how the sentence should be, Dina will send me a letter tomorrow. As I've told you, it does not matter if the subject is she, or they, or whatever, we always use will, and the verb is always in its basic form. Send. Another one, they, sleep, in a hotel next month. The sentence should be, they will sleep in a hotel, next month. We use will. The verb sleep, stays as it is. Negative sentences. The sentence starts with the subject, followed by will not. Then, a verb in its basic form, followed by the rest of the sentence. The term that expresses negation is, will not. The shortcut of will not, is won't. We always use will not, or won't, no matter what the subject is. Danny won't go to school next week. We use won't, or will not. The verb go, stays as it is. The rest of the sentence is, to school next week. More examples. Dina, not send, me a letter, tomorrow. This is how the sentence should be. Dina will not send me a letter tomorrow. Or, Dina won't send me a letter tomorrow. We use won't, or will not. The verb send, stays as it is. They, not sleep, in a hotel next month. The sentence is, they will not sleep in a hotel next month. Or, they won't sleep in a hotel next month. I guess you already know that we use won't, or will not, and the verb sleep stays as it is. Yes no questions. The question always starts with will. Then comes the subject. After the subject comes the verb in its basic form, and then the rest of the question. Will Danny go to school next week? According to the structure above, the sentence starts with will, followed by the subject, Danny. Then, the verb go, in its basic form, followed by the rest of the question. More examples. Will Dina send me a letter tomorrow? Will they sleep in a hotel next month? Nothing more to add. WH questions. Let me list some of the WH questions first. What? When? Where? Why? Which? Who? How? How doesn't start with WH, but is also a WH question. The question will always start with a WH question, followed by will. Then, the subject, 
followed by the rest of the question. Nothing else to explain. Let's just follow some more examples. Where will Danny go next week? The question starts with the WH question where, followed by will, and the subject Danny. Then comes the verb go, in its basic form, followed by the rest of the question. More examples. What will Dina send me tomorrow? Where will they sleep next month? No need for any further explanations. Questions about the subject. We've mentioned more than once, question about the subject, will always start with who, or what, depending on the subject. If the subject is human, the question will begin with who. If the subject is not human, the question will begin with what. Example for who. Paul. The boys. My neighbor. Uncle Bill. And so on. All of them are human. Example for what? The cat. This pencil. My umbrella. Your video. Etc. Not human. After the who or the what, there is the word will, followed by a verb, in its basic form. Then comes the rest of the question. Examples. Who will go to school next week? Who will send me a letter tomorrow? Who will sleep in a hotel next month? That's it. This is all the material. Now, let's do some more examples. My dad, tell, me, a story, tomorrow night. Positive. My dad will tell me a story tomorrow night. Negative. My dad will not tell me a story tomorrow night. Or, my dad won't tell me a story tomorrow night. Yes no question. Will my dad tell me a story tomorrow night? WH question. What will my dad tell me tomorrow night? Question about the subject. Who will tell me a story tomorrow night? At this stage, the material should be clear. If it is not really clear, replay the video, and listen to it again. We will do three more examples, and then, we'll enter the website to practice. David and Dan, whisper, tomorrow. That is how it should be. Positive. David and Dan will whisper tomorrow. Negative. David and Dan will not whisper tomorrow. Or, David and Dan won't whisper tomorrow. Yes no question. Will David and Dan whisper tomorrow? WH question. When will David and Dan whisper? Question about the subject. Who will whisper tomorrow? Mother, cook, for us great food next Monday. Positive. Mother will cook for us great food next Monday. Negative. Mother will not cook for us great food next Monday. Or, mother won't cook for us great food next Monday. Yes no question. Will mother cook for us great food next Monday? WH question. When will mother cook for us great food? Question about the subject. Who will cook for us great food next Monday? The children, play, football, in the park next week. Positive. The children will play football in the park next week. Negative. The children will not play football in the park next week. Or, the children won't play football in the park next week. Yes no question. Will the children play football in the park next week? WH question. What will the children play in the park next week? Question about the subject. Who will play football in the park next week? Now is the time to enter the Grammar Land homepage to start practicing. Enter the website 
via the link in the description area, below the video. We like to ask you again to give us a share, like, and to subscribe to our videos. Any feedback you have, will help us improve this course. Now enter our home page, via the link in the description area, or enter the next lesson, future, B plus going to, via the link at the top of the screen. The Grammarland team, wishes you lots of fun and success.